Hello and welcome. Let us solve this ideal Rankine cycle problem. Let's begin by drawing the cycle on a TH diagram. We draw the constant pressure lines. This is the condenser pressure line and this is the turbine and boiler pressure line. So state one is the turbine inlet. Uh, just arbitrarily let's think this is state one isentropic expansion through the turbine this would be state two and state three by definition it will be a saturated liquid and from three to four it's isentropic compression in a pump i'm exaggerating the pump three and four states here in reality three and four are almost on top of each other okay so let's go ahead and evaluate the states we have everything we need for the inlet state and exit pressure is all uh, the Condenser pressure is also known. Um, just one thing is not given is the mass flow rate. So we'll assume a mass flow rate of 1 kg per second throughout the cycle. That will not alter any answer. Now, Rankine cycle is covered in Chapter 9 of your textbook. Uh, it's, it not only covers the Rankine cycle, it's an ideal Rankine cycle. It's all kinds of modification like reheat, regeneration, everything is covered there. And it's expect, it, it is assumed that you, you know, sorry, this should be PC, single flow test step, how to use those, because you'll build up on those concepts. I've already logged in uh, in, in thermofluids.net. So I'll go to the test, test calcs tab, and over there, system analysis, we'll go open steady system branch. Specific branch will lead us to, uh, at the bottom, uh, vapor power and gas power cycle. So we want vapor power and our material model should be PC model. And we click the HTML5 tab to launch the test calc. Okay. First, calculating all the anchor states. The pressure is supplied to be 4 MPa. And the temperature is 400 degrees Celsius. And we are assuming a mass flow rate of 1 kg per second. State 2, mass flow rate doesn't change, and entropy remains constant, and the pressure is supplied, 100 kPa. For state 3, which is at the end of the condenser, M dot 1 and at the end of the condenser in the condenser there is no pressure drop because it's an ideal uh, cycle and 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 the quality is going to be zero this is something you got to know about the ideal ranking cycle assumption and for state 4 from 3 to 4 is the pump recall so at state 4 the pressure must be back to P1 and and, and ma mass flow rate is the same and of course, entropy doesn't change. Entropy equals S3. You'll notice that the temperature is same as T3 because entropy remains constant. So therefore, if we go, go take a look at the graphics panel, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Actually, 4 is on top of 3. State 4 and state 3 are together. So that's why it's kind of funny to see, see this in this diagram. So let's go to the I.O. panel. And we are going to calculate uh, all, all sorts of quantities we might be interested in. For instance, what is the turbine work? W dot T, suppose we call it. It will be equals mass flow rate times, the, which is the higher one, H1 minus H2. Because H1 is at the inlet, 1 is the inlet and exit. So enthalpy drops across the turbine. So the turbine power is 758 kilowatt. How about the pumping power? W dot P must be equals M dot 1 times, recall the pump is between 3 and 4, 4 being higher than 3, so we want all positive answer here. Pumping power is only 4 kilowatt. So think of the back work ratio, how little it is for a vapor power plant. So therefore, if you want to find the network, W dot net is M dot one star 
uh, network is sorry not m dot one network is w dot t turbine power minus pumping power right that's the net network produced so we can uh, to find the efficiency you got to know what is q dot in how much heat is going into the cycle in the boiler it's m dot one times h1 minus h4 if, if that makes sense we go from state one to state state four to state one in, in 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 the in the boiler therefore keep an eye on this output area and you'll see if you make a mistake suppose we made a mistake instead of m dot one we we we, we, we goofed up into, into the in that case if you do a calculate you'll notice you'll get an error message so it's important before the error accumulates every time you type something in it works okay uh, so q dot in uh, is known we can find the thermal efficiency but let's look at the integrity of the solution let's find out q dot out which will be heat rejected by the condenser which goes from uh, 3 to 2 so h2 is the higher one 2 to 3 i'm sorry 2 is the inlet and 3 is the exit, 2 being the fluid with more energy, flow energy, and heat is rejected, therefore the amount of heat going out is found. Why did I do that? Because we know the definition in a cycle, Q dot net must be equals W dot net. And we are totally independently calculating the two quantity, Q dot in minus Q dot out is our Oops, I must have made an error. Q dot net equal Q dot in. Uh, oh, I think this is where I didn't say Q dot. I made a mistake there. Q dot out. Okay, now things should be all right. So notice Q dot out is 754 and W dot net. I'm sorry, Q dot net is 754 and W dot net is also 754. And that tells us that we have done things most probably everything correctly thermal efficiency is simply the desired output w dot net divided by q dot in which is about 27 percent so we are kind of done with the main part of the problem and now suppose the question is what if the condenser pressure is reduced to uh how much uh, says condenser pressure is reduced to 10 kPa? Okay, so let's go back. Where does the condenser pressure appear? Okay, state one is our turbine inlet, so state two must be where the condenser pressure first appears. So we change it to 10 kPa, reevaluate the state. Of course, state three should also be calculated again because it will be affected by that, and so is state four. But now, if you go to the I/O panel. And we simply click the calculate button. Everything is recalculated. All the equations we put in, we need to retype in. Notice the efficiency has significantly got up to 35%. So there is from 27%, I believe, there's an 8% rise because the pressure decreased. And I don't have time to go over what is the reason. The basic reason is that now we have a lower effective temperature of heat rejection. Um, so, so it kind of validates what you know from theory. So let me stop here.